guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be a demo and review on this palette from Maybelline. This is called the City Kits Pink Edge Eye and Cheek Palette. Um, and before I start, please excuse what we have going on behind me. I'm doing some kind of like reorganization and redecorating and stuff. And it's looking kind of bare, but there is a plan. I'll be sure to show you guys um, like a little beauty room tour if that's something that interests you when it's done. But yeah, for now, it's just kind of a work in progress. Um, but yeah, I actually saw this palette on the Ulta website back in November when I placed an order and I didn't get it because I just felt unsure, I suppose. But then I saw this last week now actually in Shoppers Drug Mart um, and it was $18.99, which I feel like that is expensive, but you do get um, a blush, a highlighter, and then eight eyeshadows. So I guess when you think of it like that, it is not too bad, um, but only if the quality is good, of course. Um, and I also wanted to film this review and show me using this palette because I posted um, kind of a first impressions video on this palette from Maybelline. And as a little follow-up, just in case you guys are curious, I actually do really like the matte shades that are, that are in here. But like I said in the previous video, I just, I wasn't the biggest fan of this. So I wanted to see if this little pink edge palette um, was any better. Um, there was two versions of this, this pink one, and then also this like, very pastel looking one. I'll insert a photo of what I saw um, at the store. Um, and yeah, the pastel one had like all shimmery shadows and just not shades that I would typically use. But this is totally up my alley. Like this, um, like in general, I love these like mauve type of shades. And you can see the blush here, the highlighter, and then you can almost think of this as like a quad and then this as a quad right here. So I'm going to now do some swatches. And it's also very dark outside, guys. It's very early in the morning, so the lighting game, it's still a work in progress, my friends. They all actually swatched quite nicely. This um, kind of pale vanilla shade and the black were a little bit patchy, um, but the shimmery shades actually went on very nicely. They didn't have as much like glitter chunks in them as I was expecting. So I think we should start off by applying the blush shade right here. It's just a very pretty kind of neutral mauve color. Definitely cannot use a big brush when you are using this blush. You can see it's a very kind of narrow pan size. Pretty so far. And then I am going to take um, the highlighter shade here. I really like that. It's almost like a pink iridescence. Um, it's a very light shade, so I don't think this would work for everybody's skin tone, of course, but I'm enjoying the way it looks on my skin tone. And then let's start with the eyeshadows here as well. So when I was looking at this palette, the one thing I will say is that there isn't a great transition shade. Like I would love to see more of like a neutral brown, but um, that's kind of just my personal preference. Um, actually, I feel like a lot of people would want that, okay? Just saying. So I am going to actually start off with this taupe shade on a big fluffy brush. actually went on a lot kind of like lighter than I was expecting. I quite like how that looks. You guys know that I love cool toned eyeshadows so far. So good. Should be zoomed in even more. I'm also going to take some of this mauve shade and put that in my crease but keep it a little bit lower down. I just want to use as many shadows from this palette as possible. But so far, these two matte shades are blending out really nicely. 
I'm also going to take those two matte shades and put them on the lower lash line, just kind of mix together. Mainly because I just don't really know what to do next, so I'm, I'm stalling, if we're just being honest. There's a little bit of fallout with these shadows, but nothing outrageous. So I think I'm gonna take this kind of coppery shade right here, this like taupey, coppery, goldy-ish shade. Um, it swatched beautifully on my arm here. I really think that's gorgeous. So I'm going to place that all over my lid. That is a little bit lackluster. I'm gonna try applying it with my finger. Maybelline often, let's just face it guys, with their kind of palettes, miss they kind of miss the mark when it comes to their eyeshadow formulation. So I'm pleasantly su surprised so far. The mattes are nice. The um, This shimmery shade is quite soft and buttery and it looks nice and metallic on my lid. Now what? I'm going to take um, some of this deep plum shade, put that on the outer part of my eye. And then just to kind of test out this black here because on my arm it really didn't like swatch well, it actually doesn't look too bad there. I don't mind when black eyeshadows aren't like crazy pigmented because if you're not incredibly careful, they'll fall down and, you know, just make a mess of your face basically. But I don't want it to look like gray either. I really need to clean my brushes. Like it's kind of gross. I'm going to take this matte vanilla shade and see how that works on my brow bone. And I'm also going to take that shade on my inner corner here. Um, on my inner corner I'm also going to take the pink shimmery shade. Yeah, like they have a lot of fallout but doesn't really bother me just just throwing it out there guys again the shimmery shades really need to be applied with a finger I am thinking okay guys eyeshadow look is done I am going to apply some of this mascara and I will be right back all right guys, mascara is on. I really like this mascara, it gives a lot of volume. I do notice as I apply it, little kind of wet flecks of it kind of get on my eyelids. Um, they brush off easily, but just something to note. Um, and then I also applied some of this Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in Too Cute. So overall guys, I really like how um, the look turned out. Um, this is so typical of what I like to wear kind of like mauve a little bit more cool toned. Um, and yeah, I think the, the eyeshadows blended nicely. Um, so let's see how it wears throughout the day. I'm actually headed off to Lethbridge for work today. Um, and so I'll do some check-ins throughout the day and let you guys know what I think about it. And if I think that it is worth your hard earned, earned? Your hard earned cash. So um, here's the palette and I will check in with you guys in a bit. Oh, hey guys. I am sitting here in my hotel room. It is now a lot later than when I last saw you. Um, I did my makeup this morning. It was like 7 a.m. It was very early, and it is now almost 6 p.m., so I've been traveling and driving and just working all day, and I'm very exhausted, as you can probably tell here. Um, but I just wanted to do a little check-in about um, the palette. So if we kind of zoom in, you will see, and also, sorry, like I said, it's dark out. Or did I say that? I, you guys, I just, I don't even know at this point. It's dark outside. I thought I could get this check-in done before all the daylight is gone, but alas, I could not. So I'm just using my cell phone with the flashlight on so you guys can kind of see what's happening. 
But overall, you guys, I'm, I'm really impressed. The eyeshadows seem to last all day. And I mean, let's, I don't look great in general right now, but I do think the lasting power was pretty good. Um, the shade that was all over my lid, like that coppery shade has kind of like disintegrated a little bit, but like I said, it's been a long day um, and that would happen basically to any eyeshadow on me since I do have kind of hooded eyelids. Um, I will say that I like the blush when I was driving today and I could have the natural sunlight coming in. I liked how everything looked minus the highlighter. In the natural light, the highlighter looked so glittery and like big chunks of glitter and I was like, oh my gosh, like it was almost embarrassing, you know? So I was like kind of brushing that off. So I would not put that on my cheeks again, but I actually think I would use it as a highlighter. Um, but yeah, I like the blush. Um, the eyeshadows look good. Um, but yeah, so overall, I do like the palette. Um, I, I'm not telling you to like race out and go buy it or something, but I do think as like mo a more affordable drugstore option for those like kind of pretty mauve tones, I think it's great because I don't think there are a lot of those types of eyeshadow colors shades available at the drugstore um so yeah reviews like this they're kind of tough when i'm like in the middle i'm not like obsessed with it like in love with it but i don't not like it like i'm definitely going to use it again so that those are kind of my thoughts on the palette guys um i i'm impressed with it and i'm gonna keep using it i have it with me i brought it traveling so guys that's it i am so tired as you can probably tell so i'm going to go have a relaxing evening i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know if this palette is something that interests you um if it's something that you're gonna pick up or you're gonna pass on it i'm curious to know um so i th hope you guys like wow I hope you guys are all having a really great day. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.